welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be all about the cutest things that corgis do. And while you guys probably know that corgis have a ton of cute features, their big ears, their short legs, they also do a ton of cute things. They have huge personalities and they're really funny dogs to be around. I asked a bunch of people on Instagram what kinds of cute things their corgis do, so I'm going to share those with you. And if I missed anything, please let me know in the comments. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, I would really Really appreciate it if you like this video click the thumbs up and we are very appreciative of your support it helps us grow our channel helps us be able to create more fun corgi content and I am super excited about the list of upcoming topics that we have coming out on this channel in the next few months so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and stick around for more so one of my favorite things that corgis do is they sleep completely on their backs, belly up. This is definitely a way that dogs show you that they're comfortable and confident. And if your dog lays with their belly up exposed to the world in front of you, that means that they love you and they're really comfortable around you. And it also means that they want belly rubs. I have heard that a lot of other corgis do this as well. And obviously other dog breeds do these things as well, but they are especially cute when corgis do it. Thing that corgis do which willow does not do and i'm so disappointed by this but i know a lot of other corgis do it is little feet tappies when they get excited corgis feet tappies are obviously extra cute because their legs are so short and their faces look so excited and happy and corgi feet tappies are one of my favorite things ever Moving on to the next cute thing that corgis do is they like to hide or sleep under small spaces. Willow oftentimes will crawl underneath my couch or underneath the bed and just lay there. I think that's just a comfortable space. They like to kind of be in a den. They like to be in small confined spaces. And a lot of times Willow will actually start crawling under my couch to get a ball or a toy or something. And she'll kind of just like give up and just lay there and stay there. next cute thing that corgis do, which is actually more of a weird thing that corgis do, but they seem to be triggered by specific sounds or words. And I think this comes from their herding genetics. Basically for Willow, she has learned when I yell at my cats that she needs to go and break it up. So if the cats are scratching on the furniture and I yell Ted or Charlie, she runs after them and like barks at them and makes them stop. Ted. 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 Oh. Ted. Ted. But also Willow's brother, Liger, is triggered by weird, like, if you sneeze, he'll run up to you and, like, bark at you. Or if you say butts or do he also runs after you and barks at you for some reason. And I've heard a lot of corgis have weird trigger words like that. So if your corgi does those things, let me know in the comments. Tell me what their trigger word is. Nom, 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 nom. <coughs> <gasps> <gasps> oh. 
Hey kids, Willow's mom wants to see a video of Corgis doing some of the cute things that you guys do. Do you want to help her? Beggar. Butts. <laughs> This next cute thing that corgis do, Willow doesn't do again, but I got a lot of messages on Instagram about other people's corgis doing this, and I've seen other people's corgis do this, and I wish Willow would do this. But basically, corgis can do the sit pretty trick where they sit back on their hind legs and their butt bones and lift their paws up in the air, and you know, it's called sit pretty, but I don't know if Willow's body type is too awkward. Or maybe she's really long for a corgi. I know corgis are obviously long dogs, but maybe she's extra long. She just doesn't really get the balance of it, but it is super cute. All right, as you just saw right here, the next really cute thing that corgis do, and yes, I know other dogs do this too, the head tilt. Corgi head tilts are one of the cutest things I have ever seen. Their ears are so big and their facial expressions are very expressive and their head tilts are so dramatic. And I just really love seeing a good corgi head tilt. All right, the next cute thing that corgis do, I got a ton of messages about this when I asked everybody on Instagram what cute things their corgis do. And this one is sliding into the sploot, not just doing a sploot, but splooting into the sploot. If you don't know what a sploot is, it's basically when a dog lays on their belly with their back feet kicked out behind them. So they're spread out like a flat mat, basically. And corgis do this from puppyhood. They literally just get tired and plop down. I am personally a stomach sleeper, so I totally understand how that's comfortable. I would sleep like that if I was a dog as well. But with corgis, they are really cute because their legs are so short and they're just so stumpy. Their bodies are so long. So it's like a long body with short little feet hanging out behind them. I don't know about you guys, but Willow does the sploot every day. She always, she's probably laying, she was just laying in a sploot like a couple of minutes ago. So corgis are always in the sploot. And if your dog does this too, let me know. As you can see right now, Willow is doing some kind of sploot. There are many forms. That's like a, a split sploot. Half sploot, one leg in full sploot, and the other leg The next cute thing that corgis do, which maybe some people don't find this to be cute, but I think it's really cute. Willow is very vocal and I don't mean the barking. Willow's bark is ear piercing. It is so loud. And this is because they were bred to be herding animals and herding animals have to be really loud to get the animals that they're herding moving. But they also make a lot of other noises because they're just so full of personality. Willow personally makes this huffing bark not even a bark, it's like a huffing sneeze type sound whenever she wants my attention or she wants me to throw something. This is her way of communicating to me that she's like serious and I better do it. So like, let's say she has a ball sitting at my feet and she's staring at me waiting for me to pick up the ball and I'm just staring back at her. She'll do the little thing at me. Although she's bossing me around and basically being a brat, 
I think it's really funny. And then what happened? And then? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Corgis also obviously have such stumpy little paws. It's really cute, in my opinion, when they try to scratch their nose and their face with their paws. They just look so sweet and it's just one of my favorite things. I just love it. I love it so much. <laughs> favorite cute thing that corgis do. Corgis, or at least a lot of them, are super cuddly. Not all corgis are cuddly. Obviously, corgis are all different. But I got a lot of messages about people saying that their corgis wake them up in the morning and cuddle with them to wake them up. And Willow also does that. So that is definitely one of my favorite things. I remember when Willow was still a puppy, every time she noticed that I was awake, she got super excited. This was when she was eventually allowed to sleep on my bed after she was potty trained and stuff. But once she like saw me start stirring in the morning or if I made eye contact with her or whatever, she would get so excited and she'd come wiggle up next to me and lay next to my face and just be super snuggly and cuddly. And Willow is still really snuggly and cuddly. I remember one of the reasons that I knew I wanted a corgi was because I was following this other corgi account and the owner would always just put her corgi on their back, you know, in her arm next to her face and it was so adorable. Like I could just watch this corgi cuddle with his owner for forever. So I was like, I need to make sure that my corgi does that as well. So literally the first morning when I had, when I had Willow and she woke up, I started laying her like that next to me and of course as a puppy that ended in some face biting and scratching but it has I think kind of trained her to be used to snuggling with me like that and it's definitely the cutest thing that Willow does. that were on my list of the cutest things corgis do is one, their smile. With Willow and probably with a lot of other corgis, you don't get their smile that often because they have a RBF face, resting B face, and they are, they look like they're judging you all the time. Willow, especially with her like dark eyeliner and stuff, she just like stares at me and she looks like she's judging me. But when she does smile, it is the cutest thing. It melts my heart completely. And sometimes I'll just like stare at her. She'll be sitting on the couch after playing ball or whatever, she's all tired. And her ears kind of droop down and she's just panting and happy and smiling. And she could get away with anything if she just made that face at me. It's the best face ever. Another adorable thing that corgis do is 
their ears are so expressive and Willow's ears, especially being as huge as they are, they are super expressive. So when she's really tired or exhausted, her ears just droop down. Like they get so heavy on her and they just like go out literally to the sides. And that is super cute. I can tell that she's really relaxed when her ears are like that. And then when corgis are greeting people, their ears go back behind them. And I think this is a way of them telling dogs and humans that they're friendly and approachable. So whenever I come home from work or whenever she gets excited and I call her to come to me, she gets all like her ears go back and she gets all wiggly and their ears are so cute. They're really big, obviously, and their willows are like humongous for her body, but the expressions that her ears make are adorable. And last but not least, and of course I probably forgot a ton of things or Willow just doesn't do a ton of things or maybe I'm just used to the things that Willow does so they didn't make the list. The last thing is that corgis are super social and friendly and they, like I was saying earlier, like to be the center of attention but they also just want to be around humans all the time. They wanna be sitting on everybody's lap. They're kind of attention hogs and I think that's super cute and one of the reasons why I wanted a corgi is because I'm not that social. I'm shy and quiet and Willow is literally always the life of the party whenever I take her places with me and it helps me be able to talk to other people and be around in social environments as well. All right that's it for the cutest things that corgis do. Obviously corgis are just so adorable in every way but I hope you guys enjoyed the list of cute things that Willow does and that other corgis do. And in the comments, I would love to create a community of people sharing the cute things that their corgis do as well. Let me know any cute stories you have of your corgi. If they do anything that's unique that you haven't heard that other corgis do, let me know. Anyways, yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more cute things that Willow does, follow us on Instagram because we share a lot more of our day-to-day -day lives on there and a lot of random, cute, weird videos of Willow are always going up on there. If there are any other video topics you would like me to cover, please let me know. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we will see you back here with the next video. Thanks, guys.